Sagittarius, welcome to Tarot Readings by Rocks. Today I am going to do your monthly love reading. It's going to go from August 15th to September 15th, 2018. This will be for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, and Rising signs. And as a reminder, Sag, if the reading doesn't resonate for you, please watch your other signs. Those of you that would like to get a private reading, follow me on Facebook. Instagram, Instant Go, if you would like a question answered. The links that you need are right below the video in the description box. And if you are not subscribed to my channel, Sag, please be sure to subscribe so that you're notified and click the bell too so that you get notified when I go live, when I post your, your readings. Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, and Rising Signs. And I would appreciate it very much. I'm using the Gilded for you guys. Sagittarius in love. Spirit, August 15th to September 15th, 2018 for Sagittarius. Sun, Moon, and Rising Sun. Sagittarius. Awesome, your parts look good. So we're doing it differently this month. No tarot, sexual magic. We're going to do nine cards. Well, really ten. The Hermit. Three of Cups. Son of Virgo here. Emperor. Aries, Taurus. The High Priestess. Five of Cups, Eight of Pentacles, Ooh, Ten of Swords, Four of Swords, Ten of Cups. Interesting the bottom of the deck for the overall energy. Oh, wow, beautiful. Ace of Pentacles. A new beginning in your love life. Unexpected blessings. Very nice. We'll come back to this card. You know, because this card is really going to make a difference from what I could see here. All right, so you're starting out with the Three of Cups. Very celebratory energy. I do feel some of you are celebrating something very special. You could be celebrating the fact that you're being given a second chance within a relationship or a marriage. There's a lot of happiness here with this card. Some of you could be dealing with an Aries or a Taurus male. And for others of you, you know, this is about staying in control of things. You know, I do get I do get this feeling. This is about not giving up on someone. And I know I'm getting ahead of myself because I'm looking at the next row. And this just means that you're really going to need to, to keep your emotions under control. Because I do feel like some of you, you know, there is something going on that has you highly, highly emotional. You need to stay on top of things. You need to stay in control and take, you know, take control of what's happening within your love life. You know, and with the High Priestess, you're really going to need to listen to your intuition. You know, what are the signs telling you? Are they telling you that this is the one? Or are they telling you to run? You know, what are the signs telling you? No, this is a card of, of signs, synchronicities, and your intuition telling you what is right and what feels wrong. You know, with the hermit, 
right in the center here. Someone really could be asking for some space. You know, they want time to go within, think about things. This could be you or your partner needing clarity on how you feel about them, vice versa, how they feel about you. You know, because with the Five of Cups, I feel like this has caused some pain, sadness, crying, you know, feeling crushed because something didn't work out the way that you were hoping. But again, you know, someone is doing a lot of thinking, contemplating about this, soul searching, possibly a breakup. But, but I do not, I don't feel like not everything has to be lost. You know, the Eight of Pentacles is sitting here, which means absolutely hard work needs to be done regarding this relationship or marriage. You know, to make it strong again, to build the relationship up. It could be, you know, you need to take control in, in order to have this happiness, this outcome, in order to be, you know, celebrating with the Three of Cups. You know, celebrating being with this person again. You're, you're going to have to listen to your intuition, but also possibly take control, take the lead. Sure, it's going to take a lot of of work and someone is really going to need to figure things out whether this is you or your partner someone just doesn't know what to do and I do see someone being very hurt sad devastated about something that didn't work out but again this could work out this could even be some of you seeing there you know getting counseling marriage counseling You know, that definitely would require some hard work, a lot of effort. And there's more clarity in, in the last row here, and I think what happened. You know, for some of you, there, there definitely could have been some betrayal. You know, this could represent someone stabbing you in the back, someone lying to you, deceiving you, keeping secrets. You know, and you also have the Four of Swords sitting next to this, which is almost the same thing as the Hermit. You know, it's right under, sits right under the Hermit two cards I do feel like very strongly that someone just needs some space time to figure things out gain clarity try to figure out what's in their head you know with the four of swords this is someone that has a lot on their mind you know and they need to take a step back and again this is someone you know that has has really been hurt really big time devastation you know secrets lies deceit stabbed in the back cheated on <coughs> whatever the case may be excuse me betrayed in some way but believe it or not I see happiness at the end of this feeling this is happily ever after happiness feeling content yes definitely Definitely someone was betrayed, hurt. There definitely could be happiness again. You know, when you start the reading off with the Three of Cups, which is a card of celebration, you end with happiness. You're happily ever after. And you have a solid, stable new beginning here. Listen, for some of you, this is toxic. Some of you might decide to end it. You 
you know, I do feel like it is a situation where someone was betrayed, lied to, cheated on, maybe someone walked away from you, and I do feel for some of you, there could be some time away from this person, but happiness does return. And again, with the Ace of Pentacles, unexpected new beginnings. All right, let me pull. These are just going to be additional cards. We're actually going to clarify with the After Tarot. They come after the traditional Tarot. So we're going to look at these for future predictions but they're really amazing for that I've been playing with these with that and they're great for the you know the future future predictions just amazing okay let's look oh no I'm just no, no. Ace of Cups, you have two aces, Justice, okay, so a new beginning with the Ace of Cups, which ties in with your overall energy, really, new beginnings, guys are around you even after all of the pain tears betrayal you know there's happiness this is that you can rekindle your relationship your marriage you can rekindle that connection because there is still love here you know with the nine of pentacles just like the emperor you're going to need to be strong you're going to need to have self-confidence and really know what it is that you want you know this is a card of self-respect you feeling very positive abundant feeling good about what you have done so whatever decision it is that you're making you know whether it be taking someone back It could, or you know, it could be even you that that needs some space. But whatever decisions you're making, it needs to be a decision, Sag, that you can live with. You know, this is a card of you feeling strong, whether you're male or female. With it, with the Nine of Pentacles, whether you're male or female, you know, you feel happy, successful, and content with everything that you have. You're surrounded by beautiful things. You know, and this is someone making something up to you. Someone making something up to you. It could be an apology from the Ten of Swords energy. You know, that you were hurt or betrayed. Someone is definitely trying to make things right. Trying to make things up to you. You know, it's, you know, emotionally happiness, emotionally feeling very happy, big time with the Ace of Cups, the Ten of Cups, the Three of Cups. There will be a new beginning. Make the decision that feels right for you. If it doesn't feel right for you, Sagittarius to take someone back then don't do it your intuition will be spot on if you feel like you cannot take this person back because they're going to, you know because you know that they're just going to do it again if, if your intuition is telling you that 
then you need to listen to that. But again, I do feel strongly that someone is trying to make it up to you. And I feel like you're going to be feeling very happy with what you have in your love life. You know, and again, I feel like you are, you're working very, very hard to get there. Maybe even doing marriage counseling, you know, especially with the Eight of Pentacles. I see you either having a new love in your life, you know, for those of you that are choosing to move on, or you are rekindling a, re a relationship, you're happy. Let's look at the Hermit and the Five of Cups. These only are red in the upright, okay? And that one fell on the floor. Wow. On the Five of Cups, you have the Wheel of Fortune. So things are... This is... For a future prediction, karma, destiny, things happening at the precise moment in time that they're meant to happen. Good luck, good fortune... Completing, it's, it's a 10, which you have three of them here. And the Wheel of Fortune is actually behind the Emperor. Things absolutely going in your favor, turning in your favor. And this person, someone is looking for clarity, answers. But this is the truth. Honesty, seeing things clearly. Crystal clear communication. Someone just needs to take a step back and decide, really, is the relationship too toxic or is it, a, is it a passionate, lusty one? Do I stay? Do I go? But regardless, you're happy. And for a future prediction on the Five of Cups... You're totally coming out of this feeling sad, depressed. You are becoming this strong, independent man or woman with the Nine of Pentacles. Beautiful, Sag. Really, very beautiful. If it didn't resonate, please watch your other signs. Take what resonates, especially the Wheel of Fortune. I mean, both for future. This is, this is amazing. Amazing. Take what resonates. Leave what doesn't. Really beautiful reading, though, guys. Thank you guys for taking the time to view the video. Have a beautiful month, but I will see you guys back here very shortly. Till then, Sag, absolutely love you guys. Take care.